what is up we're back again with yet another gun review i just want to take a second and thank everybody who has subscribed liked commented viewed uh the bare bones glock 43x video is approaching 10,000 views which is beyond my wildest dreams of, of what i thought was going to happen with this channel um I know that you guys have uh, have learned a couple things from what from the comments and stuff, which is awesome. I'm I'm glad that I could be of some kind of assistance there, and I'm glad you and you guys enjoy my aimless rambling. Uh, it's kind of funny. I just uh, hop on here and talk about guns, and you guys just sit and listen. And I really appreciate all the support I've gotten. Uh, there's only been one comment that was like a sarcastic dickhead comment, so. I'll take that out of the hundreds of other positive comments, only one negative one. That's pretty awesome. So I really appreciate everybody being uh, supportive and reaching out and commenting. I read them all. So it's, it's really awesome. And I just want to thank everybody with this one, comment, like, subscribe, comment, like, subscribe. Uh, it helps this channel grow and helps me uh, continue to make videos. So today we're going to talk about uh, my very first gun. And I probably should have done this one first, but here we go. This is the Meaty 556 channel, and I'm Colt, and we're talking about the, the gun of the 90s, all right? Before we start, I just want to show clear and safe, okay? Nothing in there, empty mag, good to go, all right? So, I actually had to write some stuff down. I had to do a little research before I started this, because I... I don't carry this gun much and I'll, I'll get into why and um, I kept it and I kept it for some sentimental value but I also kept it because it's honestly a damn good gun so I just want to start out it is an inter-arms firearm it, they are they were a company out of Ebar Spain and they uh, they transported guns into Alexandria Virginia and uh, they went out of business in, I think, 1998, from what I just read. But if you, at first glance, this thing looks like a 1911, okay? They call it an M43. So this is a Star Firestar M43. They came chambered in 9, 40, and 45. And in my opinion, to be a true 1911, it has to be chambered in 45. This is the 9 version, but the reason that I've kept this is, one, I love shooting 9mm. Almost all of my handguns are 9mm, um, all, all, with the exception of maybe two. Uh, I really love the 9mm caliber, and I don't love having to buy a bunch of different, uh, different calibers when I'm picking up ammo. It's nice to be able to just run in, grab a thousand rounds of 9, and call it good. Um, but this is a budget... Uh, budget uh, channel that we focus on here and this was a gift all right so my grandfather when I was 18 years old my grandfather took me to the gun shop he's like what gun do you want to get and back back in when did I turn 18 shoot like late 2000, 2010 um, I was like ah, I really want to get a 2000, 2012 I think I turned 18 uh, I really want to get uh, something like a 1911 and uh, the, the uh, the gentleman behind the counter pulled this actually out from the back and it was almost, it was like old, old new stock kind of thing. It was in really good shape. And my grandfather bought this for me. It was $200 back in 2012. So that'd probably be like 400 bucks. Now I did take a peek online. You can get these for under 400 bucks. And, uh, I'll, I'll say one thing about this gun. I've probably put four or 5,000 rounds through it. I've cleaned it once. And that was when I shot it for the first time and cleaned it. And I thought I needed to clean everything. And uh, I haven't cleaned it since. And, and you can kind of tell <laughs> that I haven't cleaned it. But uh, it's never never malfunctioned. I've shot shitty ammo through it. I've shot nice ammo through it. I've shot heavy heavy grain, light grain. It's never failed me. And that's that's pretty cool. I was shooting it in the rain yesterday. And it still was, uh, was running just fine. Uh, everybody that shoots it, their one complaint is that this uh, 
handle is a little short, especially for like bigger guys. Your pinky's gonna hang off the bottom of it a little bit. But if you can get your hands up on the slayer, uh, on the the rail, you're 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 good to go. Um, this thing is a heavy heavy girthy girl. She's two pounds when it's full. It's a I mean, it's a heavy heavy piece. So I was carrying this when I was 21 years old as my carry gun and that got old real quick because if you carry a two pound gun around you're gonna get sick of it real fast it's it's a big heavy thing and the other complaint that a lot of people have is it's seven rounds so they kept it true to the uh the 1911 kind of style magazine and it's single stack <coughs> which is fine and dandy but uh hey like we've talked about in other videos, if you need more than more than seven or eight rounds, you might need to just go train some more. Um, it is single action, and it will only fire with the magazine in. I'll go ahead and dry fire for you. And then reset, long reset, but a decent trigger. Um, this was actually voted in and won handgun of the year in uh, 1991 which uh under my grandfather's tutelage i'm sure he had some kind of of uh, knowledge of that because he he used to collect all those gun magazines when i was a kid i remember going in there and reading about old muskets and uh he's actually a black powder guy that's what i learned to shoot on was black powder which is kind of cool and uh <clears throat> he probably knew that this was going to be a solid quality gun and his buddy that owns the gun shop, I'm sure, was like, oh, this is a great first gun for you. And uh, that's honestly pretty much the reason why I've kept it. My grandfather bought this for me when I turned 18, my very first pistol. And uh, I don't ever have a plan on selling it. You know, it's uh, it's nothing super, super pretty. It's nothing, nothing gorgeous. But uh, I think it looks nice and it's really, really fun to shoot. And it's got a lot of memories. I've carried this thing on, on the backs of horses on four wheelers i've carried it on foot as a personal defense weapon i've carried this as a side arm when i'm hunting in uh just chuck it in a backpack and call it good it's been uh it's been solid um i haven't done anything to it i know i've seen some people put real pretty wood grips or something on these i actually kind of like the uh rubber grips and uh the other thing that i <laughs> it's not a customization but it actually fell out of my uh my holster when i was on the back of a horse and fell into the gravel driveway and bent that rear sight just ever so slightly it doesn't affect the shooting at all but uh that's just something when i look down and i see that little tiny bend in that thing i just i remember that day i was sitting on my quarter horse and that thing fell out of my <laughs> holster and bounced against the the gravel and bent that and i was like Ugh. and uh, i honestly don't know if you could even find a rear sight for that thing so but yeah this is uh this is colt's an original very first pistol you know it's uh it's never going anywhere there it is inner arms firestar m43 1911 clone in nine mil if you can find one, I'd highly recommend picking it up just because of of uh, how reliable it's been. And uh, it's it's just a cool little piece. And it's a 1911, sort of. Um, it doesn't have the, the rear safety, which most real 1911s have. And it's 9 mil, but it's a pretty cool little piece. So if you find one, if you feel like it, this would be a, a go for me to snag one. They're a, they're a cool little gun. But uh, thanks, everybody, for liking, commenting, and subscribing.